Hello Programmer, and welcome to a new video in the Java Basics course on the Future Programmer YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a walkthrough of a choose-your-own-adventure game. In this project, you'll get the chance to practice what you have learned about control flow in Java programming. So without further ado, let's get started. The project that we will be making today is a choose your own adventure game. And this is the type of game where we have a story with a character in it. The player will be making choices for that character. So for example, if we have a game where the character is walking along the forest road and they come across a crossroad, should they go left or go right? The player will decide this and say, for example, I want the character to go left. Well, if the character went left, there is going to be a new set of choices that the player will have to make. For example, you walked left on the crossroad and you came across a river. Would you like to cross the river or would you like to walk along the river? And again, the player will be making the choice for the, for the character. For example, I want to cross the river. And there can also be ends to this story. For example, if you crossed the river, perhaps the character drowned. So the game ends. Or perhaps if the character walked along the river, then they may somehow come across some treasure and win the game. So that's the type of story that we will be using for this game. So I am currently in Sublime Text, which is where I will be writing this program. And then I will be putting the code into the online Java editor from Replit and then run the program there. Let's first think about what we want our program to eventually achieve. So for each choice, we will first present the situation. So is the user or is the character walking? Is the character climbing or doing what so, uh, whatever action the character is doing? And then we want to ask the player to make a choice. Lastly, we want to update the situation and then repeat. So we want to present the situation, get the choice from the player, and then we want to update the situation and continue to present that situation, ask for a new choice, etc. And at some point, hopefully, the game will possibly end. So since we'll be using the scanner class to get user inputs from the user, Let's import that. So import java.util.scanner. And since we'll be writing this program here, but we will be copying this code into the online Java editor from Replit, we need to make a class called main. This is kind of required for a Replit. And in this main class, we'll have a main method. And inside will be where we write our program. You can just copy those codes so far since it's pretty just standard code. So in the main method, let's first make an instance of the scanner class, which we'll use to actually get the input from the user. So let's, so let's call this scanner sc, which is equal to a new scanner system dot in. Let's also make another string variable called choice. Let's just declare it and we'll initialize the value later. What choice will be is we will use choice to store whatever the user entered so we can change the situation based on the user's choice. And let's just print out a welcome message to the user for coming to this game. So welcome to a game of choose your own adventure. And then we can start the story. Now keep in mind that the story I'll be using is completely random. It doesn't you don't have to write the exact same story as I did and you can totally come up with your own story as creatively as you would like to. So let's print out the character or in other words you the player are walking in the forest. You see a small cabin on the side of the road. Just going to wrap the words here so you can see more clearly. And we can ask the player to make a choice. Would you like to go in 
So we want to present the choices, yes or no. And hopefully the user will enter Y or N. So we can test this after we get the choice from the user. So we're going to use sc.nextLine to do so. So sc.nextLine is going to get the input from the user. And let's store it inside of our variable choice. Choice is equal to sc.nextLine. And if choice is equal to Y, we will do certain things. But before we get there, I just want to say, usually when we're comparing a string with another string, instead of using double equal signs, we typically do something else. We typically do dot equals, and then the second string like this. So if choice is equal to Y, choice dot equals Y will give us true. Otherwise, it will give us false. So that's typically what we do as good practice when we're comparing two strings. So if the choice is equal to Y, then we want to present a new set of choices. So in this case, let's say, let's print out, you went into the cabin on the side of the road. And perhaps nobody is home or perhaps let's just say nobody is inside. But there is a ladder that goes to the attic. And we can ask, do you want to go up? Yes or no. And we can have a new set of choices here. So choice will again be equal to sc.next line like this. And if choice dot equals if I can spell choice correctly, so choice dot equals y again, we want to print out you went up the ladder and reached the attic. And let's just end the game here in this branch of the program. So let's say you found a box full of treasure. Congratulations. You won the game. And we're writing if cases here only. We can also add else. So if the player went inside the cabin but did not choose to go in the attic, we can have another set of choices. So we can have else. And you know, we may not even have to present choices. We can just end the game in some other dramatic way. So we can say, you left the cabin and continued wandering around the forest. You couldn't say, find a source of water and soon enough, you died. Sad story, right? You ended the game by dying. And this is all we need for when the user entered yes. We're going inside the small cabin on the side of the road. But what if the user entered no? So we find this if, find this curly bracket, and this one is what's matching this curly bracket. So here we want to write else a new set of situations. So in this case, we can write, so you didn't go inside a small cabin. Perhaps you just continued walking down the road in the forest. And suddenly, Let's say a monster jumped out. So a monster jumped out of the trees. Do you want to fight the monster? Yes or no? And, you know, we can have another set of choices. So choice is equal to sc dot next line. If choice dot equals Y again, we will print out you fought the monster with your bare hands bravely, but you still died. The end. And otherwise, we can have, let's say, you ran away. But let's say you still died, but the monster 
paste you down and A2. Sad face. So as you can see, this is a really short game. It's only, what, 30, 30 or 35 lines long. You can have as long a program as you would like. You can have many, many, many different choices, many different situations, and so on. So this is a short example program that hopefully demonstrates how this can be written. And I'm going to copy this code into the online Java editor on Replit. So we can just copy or sorry, paste this program in here and run it. And the reason why I used Sublime Text is you can see it's a little bit harder to see the code in Replit. So that's why I use another editor when writing the program. So welcome to a game of choose your own adventure. You're walking down the, uh, you're walking in the forest. You see a small cabin on the side of the road. Would you like to go in? Let's say, knowing that I probably should not, not go in, I should probably go in. So yes, you went into the cabin on the side of the road. Nobody is inside, but there is a ladder that goes to the attic. Do you want to go up? Knowing that there is treasure there because I wrote the program, I'm going to say yes. You went up the ladder and reached the attic. You found a box full of treasure. Congratulations, you won the game. And I can play this game many times with many different choices. So I can, for example, say no, and I would not like to fight the monster and I got eaten by the monster. The idea here is you write this program and perhaps have a friend play it since you already know the choices, but your friend doesn't. So that can give us some interesting results. And really, this is just one story out of the many, many, many different stories that anyone can come up with. So feel free to be creative and write whatever story you would like to write. I hope you had fun writing this choose your own adventure game program in Java. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there. With that said, Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in future videos.